the way we go about installing WSL according to Microsoft, you need to have version Windows 10 2004 build 1904 or higher. Um, if you want to check whether or not your computer is up to date, uh, do window R, and that's the window key on the letter R, type WinVer, and this is the version of your Windows operating system. As you can see, mine is built 1904. Um, if you need to perform an update, hit on the start menu, type update, press enter. Here, check for updates, click check for updates, um, wait for Microsoft to download and install the updates. Once you bring, uh, you're probably gonna have to restart the system. Once you bring your computer up to date, and then you can move forward into installing WSL2. Um, for this video, I followed a tutorial on GitHub on how to get Ubuntu with uh, the XFC uh, desktop manager running on top of WSL2. So it is very simple and straightforward. Um, the next thing that we need to do is to turn, uh, actually, yeah, is to turn on WSL2 using the features um, application. So I'm going to hit on the start menu again. I'm going to type features, press enter. Here I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I want to check uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux. I want to make sure that one is checked. And also Virtual Machine Platform. I want to check these two. Once you enable those two, go ahead and click OK. I have already enabled those for my system, so I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. Um, but basically, WSL2, the way it works, um, it is a, uh, minim a minimalized a virtualization environment in which you don't have the uh, the management interface in order to configure and the virtual machine um, also improves on boot times and it is integrated into the windows operating system um, so uh, the next thing is to install um, a linux distribution uh, for that i'm going to use the microsoft store here you want to install a couple of things the first one is ubuntu you want to search for that linux distribution and click on ubuntu 18.04 and click on install the second thing that you want to install is gwsl press enter Is this one here? I have already installed it, um, but uh, go ahead and click install. Once you have those two installed, the next thing that you need to do is to configure your um, your Linux distribution. Let's go ahead and start Ubuntu 18.04. You can click on the Start menu. You find it here on the um, recently added apps mine is ubuntu 18.04 and now um, we need to uh, set up the machine so now it's finished the installation process i'm going to enter my username press enter and then my password and repeat the password next what we're going to do we're going to uh, bring the system up to date. So I'm going to say sudo apt update and sudo, if I can type sudo apt upgrade. All right. I'm going to press enter, enter my password. And it's probably going to prompt me for confirmation. Here we go. Type yes, press enter, and let it finish. Um, meanwhile, we're doing updates. I wanted to go over a few commands on WSL that you might want to uh, get familiar with. And 
The first one is to scroll, of course, uh, WSL install in order to install WSL. But in this video, we went using the graphical interface route. The other command is the minus L minus V, which is list verbose. And this is going to list all the uh, Linux distribution that you have installed in your WSL, in your uh, Windows system. As you can see, I have two different Ubuntu uh, machines installed. One is 20.04, and it's running uh, on WSL version 2, and Ubuntu 18.04, which is also running on WSL version 2. Um, if you um, if you previously installed WSL version 1, and you want a specific uh, virtual machine to use version 2, you can use the WSL set version command, followed by the um, the Linux distribution, and then specify the version that you want to use. Usually you want to change it to 2, by to press enter, okay? Um, if, you're, if you want to upgrade to WSL version 2, I believe uh, the command, uh, there is a there is a help command which is very simple for WSL, which is WSL dash dash help, and that is going to print uh, all the commands uh, that you can use, all the options that you can use with WSL. Um, the other command is set default uh, version two. Um, that is if you um, had version one and you want to set it to version two. Apparently, I used the wrong command, and of course, I mistyped default version two, which is already the um, uh, the one that I have installed. Let's see if all right. So update finish. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to install uh, XFC Desktop Manager. So I'm going to say sudo apt install minus y XFCE four. XFCE for session and XFCE for goodies. All right. And press enter. Um, let's wait for that to finish installing. It shouldn't take too long. Um, the other command that I wanted to show you is that uh, you can't stop a specific um, Ubuntu virtual machine using WSL. So if um, if you wanted to stop, use the, um, well, actually, you first list all the running instances of uh, Linux that you have on WSL. And then let's say that I wanted to stop this machine here. I can say WSL terminate Ubuntu 20.04, press enter. If I list, my machines again notice that it says state now stopped. So I have one instance running. Um, and notice that my default uh, instance of uh, Linux is Ubuntu 20.04. You can change the default, for example, to be 18.04. So it is WSL set default and then Ubuntu, I'm going to change it to Ubuntu 18.04. Pressing enter. If I recall the previous command, notice that now this one is my default. All right, so in that thing, I, I think that's um, about everything that I wanted to show you about the WSL commands, how to manage the, uh, the Linux uh, distribution using WSL. Let's go ahead and start GWSL, which is a GWSL is basically an X server and that is going to render the graphical interface of uh, Linux on you on your Windows operating system. So I'm going to click on GWSL. The cool thing about GWSL is that it gives you this star menu. You can access individual apps. For example, if I click on Linux apps, I can click on the uh, distribution. I'm going to click on this one. And as you can see, I have many of the apps available here. 
which I can start. I'm going to start this uh, text editor. You do need to have the uh, desktop manager installed for this. As you can see, it works without a problem. If after you uh, start um, GWSL, you don't, if you don't see it here on the taskbar, there is you can right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings and then scroll down to what it says select which icons up here in the taskbar and this is dot gwsl enable it right after you enable you're going to have it available here um another thing that you can do is to create a shortcut for example let's say that i wanted to create a shortcut click on the shortcut creator and then give it a name i'm going to call this one subuntu 1804 and i'm going to select the distribution that i wanted to create the shortcut to if i click on more options i can set the display mode i'm going to leave it a single window um, I'm going to enable shared clipboard so I can copy and paste between the operating system and, and the Linux OS. And I believe that's it. And go ahead and click Add to Start Menu. From that point on, you should be able to find it here on the Start Menu. And if you click, if you um, search for, let's say, Ubuntu, here it is. If you click on it. You should be able to start a session with your Linux um, distribution. All right, so um, that's as far as um, the video that I wanted to make. Um, as always, remember to subscribe, give it a like, and see you in the next video.